Today we will find out which saddle is the best in Red Dead Online. And of course, as always, I will make different tests. I will test speed, stamina drain rate and stamina restoration rate for different saddles. But the main question is if there is a real difference between different saddles or they are just like horses, practically the same. Ok, I'll give you a spoiler. Yes, there is a difference and my tests showed that one saddle is much, much better than any other saddle. In fact, I'm pretty sure that it's some sort of a bug because there shouldn't be so much of a difference. For this video we will test four different saddles. First one is a Lumli Range Cutter saddle. I hope I pronounced it correctly. It's basically the cheapest saddle, you can get it for $60 or so and we will test it without any stirrups. Plus we will test Ivers, Delgado and Nakodoches saddles all with the most expensive hooded stirrups. By the way, when I was testing donkeys, many people said that I should test mool as well. And you know what I did? So there is an extra testing footage at the end of this video. First of all, we are going to test running speed, because saddles and stirrups are changing speed and acceleration starts for horse and with the cheapest saddle and no stirrups, there is no additional bars with the Delgado or Ivers saddle plus hooded stirrups, there are two bars in both speed and acceleration and with Nakodoches plus hooded stirrups, there are three bars in speed and acceleration. Ok guys, you will probably hear that word Nakodoches sounds a little bit weird in this video and that's because I firstly recorded all the videos saying Nacho Doches, but that's wrong and maybe racist, so I had to remake it a little bit. From my previous horses tests, I found out that in this game one bar of a speed stat actually leads us to a difference of 0.5 to 0.7% in a real speed. So now we will find out if it's the same for a saddles. And of course in the same tests I'm using the same horse, it's a shire, because it looks so cool. So first of all I've compared the cheapest saddle and the Nakodoches saddle, because they have a difference of uh, 3 bars. I've made two tests on a different rods and I found out that on a 60 second distance there is a 1 second difference, which equals to 1.7% real speed difference, just as I've expected from a 3 speed bar difference. Also I've compared Delgado saddle which has 2 bars in speed with the Nakodoches saddle which has 3 bars in speed. To do so I've ride it on the railroad from the Emerald station to the Valentine station. For Delgado it took 2 minutes 11 seconds and for Nakodoches it took 2 minutes and 10 seconds. So again, difference in one bar leads us to only 0.7% in a real speed. So for saddles it works exactly the same as for horses and one starts bar means only 0.5 to 0.7 of a percent in a real speed. In our next test we will see how much time it takes for a horse with different different saddles to fully restore the stamina bar after it run out of stamina completely. First of all we were testing the cheapest saddle and it took 1 minute 16 seconds to fully restore the stamina level. Next one is Delgado saddle and I wasn't testing Ivers here because from the stats they seem pretty similar with Delgado. Anyway, it took 1 minute and 1 second to fully restore the stamina level of a horse. And the next saddle that I've tested is a Nakodoches and it took 1 minute 5 seconds, which is a 4 seconds difference with the Delgado saddle. 
model and it equals to 6.5%. I was so surprised by this result that I actually made this test twice and in both cases I had the same number, 1 minute and 5 seconds. It's not like we care about this parameter too much because on practice we will restore our horse stamina level by calming down our horse, which we can do by pressing stick on a controller or G button on a keyboard. But still, Delgado has some advantage here. The last test, in my opinion, is the most interesting and the most important. We will find out for how long we can ride our horse with full acceleration without stopping and without calming it down, because calming down your horse, as I said previously, will restore some amount of stamina. By the way, it seems that this amount only depends on the current stamina of your horse, and it doesn't matter which horse you are using or which saddle. Anyway, for this test I was using my favorite road from the Sandini to the Tumbleweed, and with the Lumley Ranch Cutter saddle, in 1 minute and 38 8 seconds, my horse said, ok, I'm done, see ya later, and I was on the ground. And I remind you that with this saddle I'm using the cheapest stirrups that are giving you absolutely nothing. The next one was the Ivor saddle with the hooded stirrups. I've managed to ride for 3 minutes and 3 seconds and almost left the Lemoyne. Delgado goes next and you know what, the stats for Delgado and Ivors are pretty much the same and the result was also pretty much the same. 3 minutes and 1 second. And the distance is like 25 meters smaller than with the Ivors saddle. And now it's time for some weird stuff. Nakadoches. And it's not only the name of the saddle is weird to me. And I understand that in Spanish it might mean something, or maybe in Mexico this word is widely used, but to me it sounds kinda weird. Just imagine if the saddle was named Kulibyaka, which is an actual Russian word. Anyway, I hope you got my point and we can come back to the test results and these test results are extremely weird and surprising. So as you can see we are leaving Leymon now and we still have a lot of stamina and I remind you that with the Ivor saddle and with the Delgado saddle on exact same horse we were already out of stamina completely. Tall trees were still riding. And you know I've made like 1000 that what she said jokes since we are riding for so long, but they are too obvious in this situation, so I'm not gonna use them. We fell from our horse only after 9 minutes and 47 seconds, which is almost 10 minutes. It's, it's more than half of the distance from Saint Denis to Tumbleweed, it's actually 2 thirds. I was so surprised by this result that I've tested it one more time and again I was able to ride for like 10 minutes. But the next result is even more surprising. I decided to repeat Nakadoches test but with the regular stirrups instead of hooded stirrups and you know what? 2 minutes 22 seconds. It's 4 times less than with the Nakadoches and the hooded stirrups. Now let's take a look on the results on the map, because that's how it's super obvious that something is clearly broken. So the red arrow is the result for our cheapest saddle. The blue arrow is the result for a Delgado saddle or Ivor saddle with hooded stirrups. The dark green arrow is the result for Nakadoches with the regular stirrups. And the light green is the result for Nakadoches with the hooded stirrups. Wraps. There is absolutely no way that this stuff works properly. It's either Delgado doesn't work with the hooded stirrups correctly, which is unlikely, or Nakadoches is bugged if you are using hooded stirrups. So which saddle is the best in Red Dead Online? Without a doubt, for the moment it's a Nakadoches. But first of all, you have to use hooded stirrups otherwise you won't get an effect and second it's probably because of the bug and when this bug will be fixed there won't be no real difference between expensive saddles just like there is no difference between expensive horses at the moment 
And now when you know which saddle is the best, it's time for test that many people were asking for. We're going to test the Moo, because under my donkey video, I mean video about donkeys, there were many comments where people were saying that I should test Moo as well, because it might be even better than the donkey. And you know what? It's not true, because Moo is absolutely awful. It's the worst mount in Red Dead Online. It has less stamina than any horse, even the wild horse. So don't use mules, use donkeys instead. By the way, under my tweet in which I asking Rockstar to add donkeys that you can buy in the game, there is a more than 200 likes and many retweets, but still no reaction from Rockstar. But I hope they reading it. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. До свидания.